Hello everybody, this is George from the channel, and recently I had Joseph pick me up a couple comics from Midtown Comics, as you see, and I'm going to be showing them to you guys today. They came out the other day, I might be a bit late on this, but I'm just going to show you guys each interval, each individual comic that I got and what I think of them. So just let me unbox this real quick. I, I had him buy me a handful of comics. These are the comic sleeves we got. First is the, um, I don't want to say highly acclaimed, but highly looked forward to Green Lantern book. Now, I'll admit, I when I heard that Grant Morrison was going to be working on a Green Lantern book, I was really skeptical, because, don't get me wrong, Grant Morrison is fucking awesome. Um, he worked on the Batman series when I first got into comics, so that was very much a nostalgic thing that I had back then. But he's very well known for having silly and wacky ideas with his writing, and I didn't think Green Lantern would fit that, because the Jeff Johns run is so good and so epic that I found that it would be hard to top and he wouldn't be a right fit for it, but... I read this, and it is really good. I read all these comics that Joseph bought, by the way, digitally, except for one of them that he bought, because it's a series that he's following. But yeah, this first issue, it is, it's simple. It is a cop drama in space, and it looks like it's going to be setting up for a couple things, and it looks like it's going to be a fun series, not necessarily trying to top what Jeff Johns did, but, you know... I am really looking forward to what this series has to show in the future. So, yeah, there we go. Next, we have Superman. Now, this is the... This is Superman number four. I didn't read this because I'm not currently following Superman. Joseph is. I'm sure he'll edit in what he thought of this issue. But I just wanted to show you guys that it's a nice holofoil cover. It's not made out of anything necessarily expensive, so it's the same price, $3.99, as is the rest of the series. Uh, but yeah, DC has been doing a lot of covers like these, and they look really cool. I can't wait to uh, pick up whatever series that I'm following that's going to have these. So yeah. Next we have Sideways Annual Number 1. I keep telling everybody that Sideways is the... I'm going to say most fun, casual series to follow for anybody. The issues are usually... Only $2.99, it's cheap, it's a monthly series, and it's fun. You know, Sideways is simple, and I like where the series is going so far, but this is an annual issue, so this costed $4.99. A bit expensive, but, you know, this is about, I think it was about 48 pages, I want to say. So you got a lot of good content here. This is actually another book that Grant Morrison worked on, but... From what I know of the New Age of Heroes line that DC is working on, they do their things a lot like Marvel, in which they just write a description of what happens in the story, and the art the artist works on the rest of the fine details. So yeah, you can tell um, what Grant Morrison was thinking of when he likes this hero. Uh, his famous seven soldiers were in this storyline. This is the last issue in a story arc that was currently worked on recently. I find it weird when annual issues follow the main story. I I usually think of them as side stories, and they're fun. But yeah, this series is fun so far. I love it. And this issue in particular, I thought was great because... Excuse me. This series, um, this issue, I thought it was great because... Um, I thought that this storyline was going nowhere. But it turns out that everything actually fits well together. The plot points actually meant something. And we get the return of the New 52 Superman, actually. Um, DC, with their multiverse, is fucking weird, as usual. So this is this guy's kind of like an offshoot of all the retconning that has been happening. And so he was great in this. It, it was so fun to see this version of Superman again. I always thought that he was kind of... I kind of felt bad when New 52 Superman was killed off, because that was when his series was getting really good, actually. <laughs> and, yeah, it, it was just great to see him again, and teaming up with a superhero that has not even existed for, like, a year, I think. He's, like, less than a year old, so it's great to see him get recognition from 
some weird form of Superman. It, this, it, this issue is great, you know? So, yeah, that's what I thought of that. And then we have Marvel Knights 20th Anniversary number one. This issue... This issue was interesting, I'm going to say. <laughs> um, I thought it was all right. Um, Marvel Knights was the acclaimed, critically acclaimed sort of line of books that focused more on street-level heroes. Back in the early 2000s, it was one of the many things that helped Marvel get out of bankruptcy. <laughs> so, you know, we have Marvel Knights to thank for, um, I guess, fixing... Not fixing Marvel, but, you know, it was... One of the best things a company ever did, really. And so, in order to celebrate the 20th anniversary, we got the main man, Donny Cates, working on this book. I love his fucking Avengers run, by the way. It is amazing. Everybody has to check that out. But yeah, he's working on the Marvel Knights 20th anniversary series. This, is, this series is going to be only limited, six issues, and this is the start of it. It's going to be bi-weekly, I think. And it was interesting. Um, <laughs> main focus is on Daredevil, so that was great. Um, Daredevil is one of the main things that helped Marvel Knights kick off. And it looks like it's going to be kind of on a big scale, but on a small scale at the same time. It's hard to give an opinion of this without spoiling anything in particular, but, you know, you look... What I thought was great about this cover is once you learn what the story is about... Um, you start looking into each character's individual faces on these, and you're gonna notice... You're gonna notice references, and references aplenty. This is an interesting book. It's $5.99 as well, so I don't know if you want to spend that much on something like this. But I, I liked it. I thought it was worth the read. So there you go. And that's all I got for today. So let me know what you think of this. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. And yeah, it is just George here signing off. See ya.